Hey guys, Corey from AquariumCoop.com. Today we're bringing you my top five peaceful gouramis. So stay tuned. Not easy list to get a hold of. At number five, we have the female powder blue gourami. Now, only the females because they're peaceful. The males, the, the blue flames, they get pretty aggressive. Uh, so I like the females. You can put a bunch of them together. You get that nice powder blue color. Won't be a big problem in your aquarium. And it really sets the stage versus blue plants and maybe some redfish. And by golly, you got yourself a nice gourami. Number four, we have the pearl gourami. With their nice long feelers up front, they like to feel around. They've got this nice pearl pattern to them. They get about six inches. Absolutely beautiful. Go great in your... Uh, you know, your 75 gallon, your 55, your 29, they get about six inches and can really be that centerpiece fish. And you can keep them in a group, you can keep them solo, and they don't get too nippy, which is great. Number three, we kind of have a hard one here. This one is the chocolate garami. Wild caught, typically pretty finicky, only eats uh, live foods or at least frozen foods, can be hard to get off of it. But they're very docile, super cool to add to an aquarium. Even maybe even a nano if you got like a 10 gallon or something like that. Uh, real laid back, likes to hide in the weeds, but another cool, uh, you know, gourami. All right, on number two, I cheated a little bit because I didn't know if everyone would know the term anabantoids. So we're going with the paradise fish. Very gourami esque. Got them right down here. We have both albino and normals. They get about four inches long. Uh, they don't have to be heated, which is super cool. And if you keep them with other like tetras and things like that, they tend to do all right. If you keep them with other agramis or anabantoids like bettas and stuff like that, they can be pretty territorial. But with nice schooling fish tend to be a great thing and they're pretty easy to spawn. And uh, you know, most people haven't played with them and they're cheap. They're only like five or six bucks. And my number one garami is the honey garami. Nothing not to like about it. Super peaceful. You've got a male there and you've got a female right there. They can live in pairs. They can live in groups. They can live with guppies. They can live with almost anything. They're a nano fish. They get about two and a half, three inches. You can keep them in a group or even solo. And, uh, you know, they're just really nice. Sometimes called the tuna garami. But that is my top five. Hopefully you enjoyed and saw something you haven't seen before.